In recent years, China has impressed the world with its rapid technological advancements, with strides in quantum computing and successfully growing plants on the dark side of the moon. But there's another side to Chinese ingenuity that you might not have heard of. Over the last decade, reports of counterfeit food have been soaring. That's right, criminals are making a killing, sometimes literally, by selling cheap and dangerous imitations of everyday foods. Since the Chinese economy opened up to the global market in 1978, their government has struggled to enforce safety regulations on all these new private enterprises. The really scary thing? It could happen here, too. Coming up are 10 Chinese foods that might kill you, and how to spot them. Amazing. Number 10. Concrete Walnuts First, a fake food that's easy to spot. Walnuts. Picture it. You're walking through a Chinese farmer's market and spot a stall selling fresh walnuts still in the shell. You take your purchase home where you crack open the shells and find… rocks? That's right. It's not unusual for unscrupulous street vendors to maximize their profits by opening the shells, removing the edible walnut kernels, and replacing them with concrete pebbles. They then glue the shell back together and sell the fake nuts to unsuspecting customers. Not only would the concrete break your teeth if you ate one by mistake, but there's no telling what else might be in there. This trick doubles vendors' profits. They sell both the nut and the worthless cement-filled shells. And since the walnuts are sold by weight, the heavy concrete-filled shells quickly add up. So if you are in China and feel like buying some walnuts, the fake variety can usually be spotted by a subtle line of glue on the shell's exterior. And maybe crack open a few to try before you buy. No honest vendor would mind. Number 9. Industrial salt. Not even the seasonings are safe. Market traders in China have been caught trying to pass off flour and ground up dried mud as black and white pepper. But at least that won't kill you. The fake salt in China can hurt more than just your blood pressure. That's because restaurants and counterfeits alike have been known to use industrial salt as a cheaper alternative to table salt. Although they look similar, the two are by no means interchangeable. Industrial salt is typically used for cleaning machinery or for manufacturing products like paper, bleach, and tires. Unlike normal table salt, the industrial variety causes cancer and damages the liver and kidneys when consumed by humans. If the salt you're eating tastes suspicious, it's probably worth raising a complaint. But because government regulations are looser in China, Counterfeits and opportunists can get away with tricking customers into eating these often dangerous fakes. Number 8. Rotten Rice Noodles It's lunchtime, you're starving, and you can't wait to dig into a big plate of… rotten food? Well, that's what you might get if you go to the wrong restaurant on holiday in China. When most people find rotting food, their first instinct is to dump it out. But some enterprising Chinese factories have found a way to profit from their rotten grain by using it to make rice noodles. Regular rice noodles are made from a simple combination of ground rice flour and water. But the fake variety requires a bit of processing to disguise the rotting smell and imitate the color of fresh noodles. They take spoiled rice and other grains, often the stuff earmarked for animal feed, bleach it, and mix it in sulfur dioxide and other chemical additives. Those are going to need a lot of MSG to make that taste good. Number 7. Fake Peas Next up is the seemingly innocent green pea. In 2010, in the central Chinese city of Changsha, local officials became suspicious of some of the vegetables being sold at a local farmer's market. Members of the public had reported that even after boiling them for 20 minutes, the peas were still rock hard. Even worse, the water had turned a bright shade of green. It turns out these green imposters were actually old, dried snow peas and soybeans that had been soaked in a toxic blend of food dye and sodium metabisulfate, a bleach-like preservative, to make them appear plump and fresh. The green colorant that blends off the fake peas is illegal for use with food because it can cause cancer. Not that that stopped these criminals. Hey, at least now you have a good excuse not to eat your vegetables. Number 6. Bogus Beef You might have tried some of those tofu beef alternatives that your vegan friend swears tastes just like real meat. Well, the Chinese version is a little bit different. 
On more than one occasion, Chinese police have caught criminal rings passing off unadulterated pork as beef. Pound for pound, beef is more expensive than pork, so they're able to turn a quick profit. In one instance in the northern province of Shanxi, authorities confiscated 20,000 kilograms of pork, which had been soaked in paraffin wax, industrial salts, and other deadly chemicals so the meat would look like beef. Not only is the meat dangerous to consume, but there are also religious and ethical implications to consider. 20 million Muslims live in China, and their Islamic faith prohibits them from consuming pork. So if any of them unwittingly ate the fake beef, they violated their religious rules against their will. Those vegan hot dogs don't sound so bad after all, do they? Number 5. Phony Honey Honey is chock full of vitamins, enzymes, and antioxidants. It's full of energy and can give your immune system a boost. Well, real honey does anyway. The adulterated version is cut with sugar water, corn syrup, and often contains unauthorized pesticides that should never go anywhere near a bowl of porridge. Shockingly, in some instances, this fake honey has made its way onto American shelves because it was imported from China with fake labels. In a dramatic case of honey laundering, two American firms, Honey Solutions and Grove Farms, were caught deliberately importing $2 million worth of mislabeled honey into the USA. To try and avoid detection, the suspicious Chinese-made honey was routed through Vietnam to try to disguise its origins. But the counterfeit honey traffickers found themselves in a sticky situation when the FDA caught them red-handed. Now that's what I call a sting operation. Because both versions are so sweet, it can be difficult for regular consumers to tell the real deal from the fake stuff. The best way to make sure you're not paying for glorified sugar water instead of natural honey? Buy raw, local honey so you can trace where it came from. And avoid buying the stuff in bulk off unknown Amazon or eBay sellers. Number 4. Duck Blood Now, you might wonder why anyone would bother to counterfeit something as unappetizing as duck blood. Well, this is China, remember? In Jiangsu province on the eastern seaboard, duck blood soup is a sought-after delicacy, prized for its delicious taste and silken texture. To make the soup, Duck blood is heated until it congeals into a consistency similar to tofu. As unappetizing as real duck blood sounds to most American and European palates, it's definitely preferable to the counterfeit version one enterprising criminal cooked up. He bought vats of cheap cow and sheep blood from a local slaughterhouse and boiled it in his home until it congealed. While that in itself is dishonest and illegal, the worst was the formaldehyde added to preserve the blood, a dangerous chemical that can easily kill if consumed in high enough doses. When the police raided his house, they found him surrounded by animal parts, hunched over a boiling pan, in a room officials described as overflowing with blood. Wow. Number 3. Fake Rice This is another bizarre attempt to produce something that's already cheap even cheaper. Fake Rice if you're lucky, the fake rice you've bought is made from lots of tiny pieces of rolled up paper. Unappetizing? Yes. Lacking any kind of nutrition? Yes. Toxic? Well, no, I guess not. But if you're unlucky in China and other Asian nations, you might end up buying the stuff that's made from synthetic resin shaped into individual rice grains. Synthetic resin is just plastic, and can be produced incredibly cheaply during the recycling process. The Korea Times reported that eating three bowls of this fake plastic rice is the equivalent of eating an entire grocery bag. The smart criminals mix in real rice grains with fake ones to make it much harder for you to notice something is off. And there have been reports of fake rice being exported to countries as far away as Nigeria. One easy way to tell the difference is to fry the uncooked rice. And if it goes brown, it's real. But if it melts and smells like, ugh, burning plastic, Get rid of it immediately. Number 2. Rat Kebab Street food is always a bit risky no matter what country you're in, and we've all heard stories of people ordering the wrong thing from a fast food truck and spending the next six hours on the toilet. In China, you have another thing to worry about. The very real possibility that the delicious looking piece of barbecue meat you've ordered is actually rat. Street food markets are a big deal in China. 
and no evening out in the town is complete without a fistful of spicy barbecued lamb on a stick. Worryingly, there have been multiple reports of Chinese street vendors, and occasionally restaurants, trying to pass off rat meat to unsuspecting consumers as pork, chicken, or lamb. Rat meat is cheaper, but it could also be filled with disease. Salmonella and the plague, for instance. Yes, that plague. And because surprise health department inspections aren't quite as common in China, it can be hard for officials to crack down on criminals. In one instance, as many as 63 people were implicated in the rat meat scandal. They used gelatin, pigments, and nitrates to make rat, fox, and mink meat to resemble lamb. Similar examples of food fraud include one instance in Shaanxi province in February 2003, when one vendor was caught selling lamb so heavily laced with pesticides that it killed someone. Compared to that, rat meat doesn't sound too bad. Now before we get back to number one, let's take a moment to check out a couple of honorable mentions. At the end of your meal, you'll need something to wash down all that rat meat and plastic rice, right? Well, there are plenty of fake beverages, too. Counterfeiters in China have passed off regular tap water as mineral water by just sticking on fake labels. If you're lucky, the water won't have microscopic bacteria or parasites hiding inside. And if you ever order a glass of wine in China, be doubly sure you get what you pay for. Criminals have been known to create fake wine by combining expired fruit juice and raw alcohol to try and mimic the taste of a vintage red. If you're not a wine connoisseur, you might not even be able to tell the difference, until you get sick, that is. So maybe take a moment to reconsider before you splurge on that $200 bottle of vino. So with our thirst satisfied, it's time to reveal the most shocking Chinese fake food stuff. Number one, toxic wax eggs. Yep, you heard me right. Unless you see the chicken lay them with your own eyes, you could be purchasing deadly imitation eggs. Reports state the fake variety is made from using gelatine and food coloring, along with other harmful chemicals you definitely should not be eating. A mold of paraffin wax and calcium carbonate is used to form the eggshell, which is then filled with fake egg whites, concocted out of resin, starch, algae extracts, and coagulants. The yolk is made from a rubbery resin mixed with pigments and alum, a gelatinous and toxic compound. If you crack one open, it'll look pretty similar to a hard-boiled egg, but with a weird jelly texture and something distinctly strange about it. Eating these chemicals has been found to cause dementia and other health issues, so these eggs are a real concern. But I've got to hand it to the criminals, they're definitely creative. So how do you tell a real egg from a fake one? Real eggs have a slight smell, and normal imperfections and freckles on the shells. Fake eggs are unnaturally smooth and even shaped, and they're also missing the thick membrane lining you'll find just under the shell. These criminals will do anything to make a quick buck, and they don't care if they harm people along the way. Are you worried about fake food becoming a problem in your home country? What do you think should be done to stop this from happening? Let me know in the comment section down below, and thanks for watching.